Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the worst dinner ideas. Don't worry, I'm not just going to blame food or blame you today. I'm going to tell you what is not right and how to make it right. I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin, I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes education expert. Today we are talking about the worst dinner ideas. Let's get started. So guys, uh, literally, like when you come home, like you had a hard, long day and you would just want to sit down and settle and have a nice, hearty meal, uh, but sometimes you don't really have enough time to kind of cook that healthy meal that we keep talking about. And unfortunately, unhealthy food is readily available everywhere. The fast food restaurants are everywhere. Every corner pretty much in the United States, at least, we have tons of unhealthy food right so what are the worst foods of course the fast food is the 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 worst one like that we can start with uh, hamburgers or hamburgers and fries and that's super common and convenient um, but that's something you definitely have to avoid there is really no healthy hamburger uh, to be honest with you um, because especially I mean, if you're making it at home that's not a big deal if you're making it at home uh, and I'll explain to you in a second but if you're buying from outside they're all processed, right? So those processed uh, meats, unfortunately, uh, even if it doesn't increase your blood sugar as much, you know, you may think that, oh, my blood sugar is not going up, but you're still introducing a lot of toxic chemicals, preservatives, uh, all this nasty stuff, excessive salt uh, that drives your blood pressure up, gives you edema, swelling, inflammation in your body. So it's not just about the blood sugar. You, when you make a choice, uh, you need to make a healthy choice to help your overall health. Okay, so if you're eating at home, uh, having meat patties um, like hamburgers at home is not actually that bad. If you can use a lean uh, ground beef, for example, uh, you can put all sorts of uh, spices and you're making fresh, you know, preferably not even frozen. You can just buy it uh, from the store and make it the same day. Uh, and you can put as much olive oil if you as you want because most of the time when you cook those things Especially if you grill them, you know, you want some, you know, some fat in it to make it taste good um, Of course, you don't want to use high heat with the olive oil, but you can definitely uh, Add olive oil uh, you can actually um, Mix olive oil with some other spices like oregano um, you know, pepper, some other things that you like. Uh, rosemary, for example, would be great, especially for the for the meat. Uh, you can make a little sauce and put on top of your uh, meat patty and make it a healthy fat instead of buying, you know, the most unhealthy uh, part of the ground beef. So, and then the fries, of course, is a no-no. Uh, I know it is also easy to get, but you can definitely make um, roasted vegetables. You can make them crunchy. Uh, there's a lot of nice crunchy vegetables out there. Now the vegetables you can buy them frozen, right? So you can, as long as they're not processed, as long as just frozen vegetables are okay. You can just already fresh cut. You know, you, you just need to um, uh, saute them or um, you know just roast them. And it's not really that hard. It's gonna take you maybe 15, 20 minutes, uh, but that can replace your fries very well. Now, another thing that's uh, commonly found in American diet, unfortunately, is hot dogs. Um, there are very rare people who really don't like hot dogs, and that's because they're raised with it. You know, when you're raised with a food, no matter how bad it is, you just like it. Uh, so with the hot dogs, the problem with it, you know, there's really, again, no healthy hot dog. You, you're not going to end up buying this with preservatives in it. And they're going to put it in a, in, in a bun and that bun is just going to be just simple um, carb, right? So the bread. Uh, if you're choosing your bread, bread wisely, that may help you with your blood sugar. But again, just having a hot dog itself, even if it is itself, even if you put in a lettuce, which is not going to taste good, uh, is going to be full of uh, xenobiotics and full of uh, preservatives. So you need to still stay away from that. And to be honest with you, I don't have a good alternative for you for that type of food. So that's totally out. Now... Pasta is uh, very tasty and convenient, and I know a lot of people love it. Uh, doesn't matter if you have diabetes or not, pasta is something that people are always having a hard time to quit. Um, now, definitely, I mean, even if you use a whole wheat or whatever, 
pasta will spike your blood sugar. Um, what you can do, you can adopt to pastas that are made from zucchini, uh, pastas made from like shiitake, uh, pastas made from konjac. Uh, it's a little different taste, but it's not too difficult to adopt. And if you can achieve that, you can still get that satisfaction, that texture that you're looking for, or that vessel that you are looking to put your uh, meat or whatever you're using the pasta for, um, it can still um, satisfy you and prevent the blood sugar spikes. But just having regular pasta in your diet, even if a couple times a week, is definitely not a good idea at all. Now, another common thing that I frequently hear from my patients is a steak and potato. Actually, some of people say that, some of my patients will say that, Doc, this is the only thing I eat. Pretty much five out of seven days, I will eat steak and potato. And don't even talk to me about vegetables. This is what they say. I mean, it's, it's amazing how people can be so stuck in their ways. Uh, but... To be honest with you, I mean, steak, fine, maybe if you're eating twice a week, I, I wouldn't hold you back too much. I mean, the red meat is not necessarily good for you uh, if you're consuming too much. But um, just having uh, potatoes with it, like mashed potatoes or fries with it, is just not going to help you at all for your diabetes. Now, what, what, what can you do? Well, you can use parsnip, right? So parsnip is something that not a lot of people know about. Um, and parsnip, you can basically mash it and it's gonna taste almost like potato and it looks like a potato. And you can spice it, a little, spice it up a little bit. You can put some, um, you know, spices or some parsley, whatever you wanna put in there. And it's gonna look really great and you're gonna get used to it. So it's not like the potato is the only thing you have to have with um, the steak. Now, if you can, again, use uh, roasted vegetables or uh, the healthy things like uh, some broccoli rice or um, uh, shiitake rice, you can still eat your steak. I'm not prohibiting you from eating steak, but uh, having potato right next to it is probably not going to help you with your diabetes. So basically these are the most common um, food items or the dishes uh, that uh, in America we consume, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I hope you guys uh, learned something today, and if you did, uh, please give a thumbs up, share, like this video, and if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. We'll see you in the next video. Remember, three videos a week. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it, and if you did, Watch this video right there, I think that will help you too.